On this episode of Trying Something New, we are definitely gonna try something new. All right, this is really cool. We have some friends here that came all the way from the United States. We're 10,000 miles across the world, and we get to meet them here in Bali. This is a really exciting moment for yeah! us. Let's go meet Marcy and Doug and their Marcy family. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. What's up, guys? Yeah. <laughs> what's up, guys? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel after all that traveling? Good. Are you tired? No. Derek, how do you feel after all that traveling? Good. Good? You tired? Yeah. When we met up with Marcy, Doug wasn't with her. He was out getting a scooter, so we had to go find him and have dinner. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, man. We missed Doug the other day at the beach. Yeah, what's up, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Come all the way across the world to meet back up again, huh? See you again. No Nixon, you look quite grown up. <laughs> High fives. High fives. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Derek. <laughs> it's good. Oh my god, this dog is too much, man. Oh my god. <laughs> About three years ago, we embarked on this lifestyle of traveling full time and not really having a place to call home. And uh, one of our first journeys on that embarkment was going down to Mexico for this thing called a... Project World School! Project World School! Back in 2017, we went to Mexico to check out what this World Schooling Conference was all about. While we were there, we met up with a lot of great people, and uh, one really cool family that stood out to us and we connected with was Marcy and Doug. I just feel so much more confident in our decisions, that there's so many people out there doing the same thing. Parents who are facing the same str struggles have the same questions, and there really is such a community. It's awesome, and there's so much positive energy. Yeah, it just makes me want to smile all day. <laughs> so our time in Mexico came to an end. We spent about a week or so with Marcy and Doug. And a few months later, they drove their van all the way up to Las Vegas to hang out with us for another week on their way to the first ever Family Adventure Summit in Canada. Hi. So you might be wondering, what does this video have to do with Marcy and Doug? Well, we're currently in Bali right now with Marcy and Doug and about 34 of the families, over 60 kids. That's a lot of kids I know, a lot of people. For one whole month. 30 days, holy yes. crap. And it's all just an experience of learning and growing and connecting with one another. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Mommy, mommy, daddy. Oh, a dog just peed on our stuff. So spending 30 days with 30 families is an absolutely amazing experience where we get to deepen our connections together and grow as a community and become one big family. We got to share so many unique experiences together and really take the time to build amazing relationships. What's going on, Doug? <laughs> We're making the mandala. Mm -hmm. There's no plan, that's the beauty of this. So here we are learning how to fall in love. And celebration is, uh, we will be singing, we will be dancing, we don't know, we will be doing all the crazy uh, celebrations. Just... One night, Marcy and Doug organized this crazy get together. We just had an amazing time sharing stories and singing songs together. Lord, take me in mind before that comes. Yeah. <laughs> Six in the morning, nobody feels like it, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's time to work out. Ah. Every day. Yes! Let's do it! I hope I have life insurance. <laughs> Today's a special day for Skyler. Today's her ninth birthday. We're going to Water Bomb. Woo! We got a treacherous 40 minute drive through to the city here. We'll see you when we get to the other side. Bali is such a big island and you're always running into people that you know, but this has to be one of the craziest stories that we had while we were there. We're cruising to Water Bomb, which is about 45 minutes away, and we're coming up on a stoplight, and guess who pulls up next to us? Ah, grab your camera. Hello, happy birthday! <laughs> How crazy is that? We're cruising down the middle of Bali, nowhere. I look who we pull up next to. Like What's up, guys? What's up, guys? I was like, I, I was like, I think that's Marcy. Yeah. Yes. How funny is that? All 
All right, back on the road. We're going to Waterfall. We're turning in. Get it, get it, guys. Where was that waterfall? Waterfall, waterfall, waterfall. waterfall. Oh. We really enjoy trying new things and we really love how open to new experiences Marcy and Doug are. They're always willing to say yes and just jump into whatever craziness that we're getting into and it's just really cool to meet another couple like that. Doug's over here wrapping it out with some locals. Man, what a great experience this has been. <laughs> All right, Doug, what are you doing right now? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you a few more YouTube subscribers. <laughs> he says, when he picked up your camera, he says, vlog, vlog? I said, yeah, he says, YouTube? I said, yeah. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, what, what do you say? <laughs> subscribe. subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Subscribe and ring the bell. In one of our most recent adventures with Marcy and Doug, we spent a week together in Abood after uh, Ahmed at the Family Adventure Summit. Again, where we get to learn, grow, connect, and just create this amazing community together. I love day one. I'm Somehow in an eight hour day, we squeezed in three hours of work, seven hours of conversation, a three hour lunch. <laughs> you it's do the math. math. <laughs> Perfect. All right. It's we'll all see good. you on day two. <laughs> On one of our last days in Ahmed Bali, we decided to take a last minute free diving trip to Liberty Shipwreck. It was really cool because it just unfolded naturally. Everybody's like, hey, you wanna go, you wanna go, you wanna go, and before we knew it, all of our friends were at this place setting new personal records and diving to the depths of the shipwreck. When Marcy and Doug were in Ahmed, they did a free diving course, and they were gonna show us what they had learned uh, out of the Liberty Shipwreck, and it definitely, uh, was impressive how far down they could go. I got a little experiment I wanna do here. I'm gonna talk through this part, but I want you to try to hold your breath for as long as Doug held his breath. And we're gonna start in three seconds, two seconds, one second. Hold your breath. As Doug disappeared underneath the ship, his life flashed before my eyes, and I thought to myself, there's no way I can go down there and get him out. The second thing that I was thinking when he was disappeared down in the blue abyss is what the heck am I gonna tell his kids? Oh, thank goodness, there he is. Are you still holding your breath? Just because you can see him doesn't mean that you can let a breath out yet. You gotta hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, it. Doug, you can do it, you can do it. You can do Yeah, I did my biggest, deepest swim through ever. That was fun. Oh, Me too. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Way down. I was uh, impressed by how far you went down. Yeah. yeah good stuff, guys. Oh, that's good stuff. About a year and a half ago, Marcy and Doug met up with us in Vegas and we filmed a video about their family. So we had a crazy idea. Since we're all here in Bali and Ahmed, we thought what a great time to show them the video and actually capture their reaction of the video and be able to share that with you guys. So, and surprise them. Yes. So fingers crossed, hopefully they like the video. We put a lot of effort, energy, and love into this video, like we do most every video that we do. And uh, we're, fingers crossed, we're really hoping that they like it. We hope it. you guys like it. All right. All right, so it's top of the morning. Marcy and Doug and the kids are up. We're gonna try to get them to come over here and I check out this Marcy. video. And I said, hey, we just wanna show you something. Come on over. <laughs> so fingers crossed, they're gonna like it. Morgan, we got something we wanna show you. Do you know where Derek is? Hey, Derek. I think they're coming around the corner. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. This is how it feels all the time when you make something and you're about to show it to the people and you're like, I don't know, I have no idea if they're gonna like it. <laughs> you just cross your fingers and say, okay, let's go. Butterflies are kicking in. Where are they? 
Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right, guys, come here for a second. We want to show you guys something. All right, we got a video. All right, we got a video for you guys. Long time wait. All right, here we go. All right. Yeah, if you'd asked us three years ago if we'd be living in a van, or three and a half years ago, we would have, it wasn't even on our radar. But here we are, having an amazing life, enjoying every minute of it. Right, people always say, how do you live in that? Right, like they see the van, and they say, how do you live in that? Well, you don't live in that. And somebody once said to us, right, you live through that. The van gets us where we're going. It hauls us as people, but it hauls all of our gear. And when, when we land, there's a you know, little explosion of gear that pops out and our outdoor living space pops to life. And we sleep in the van. We cook outside, we eat outside, we do everything outside throughout the whole day. And, and we retreat to the van at, at night and, and go to sleep. And so it's, it gets us where we want to go and it holds all our gear and it provides us a bed. And that's really what the van does. And as long as we follow the sun, it works. That's it. Ready for action. Salud. This is kind of funny because one of the first questions we get when people meet us and they know we're traveling on the road with the kids is, well, what do you do for school? I mean, how, how do you know? Almost always where the, the first question. Yeah. And I, since I have my own business, it's really, I say, well, Doug actually homeschools them. And then they're like, Wow, really? The dad teaches the kids? Like, yeah, it's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> I signed up for this. <laughs> What's your favorite part about traveling? Raising new friends. In any, in any state I was in, I caught this kind of fish. I burned fish. Cool, but I didn't catch it. I like to catch flying fish. Um, the idea of traveling to foreign countries and exposing our kids to multiple different cultures. Hola, como estas? Tortilla. <laughs> Muy bien, y tú? And, and that was important to me, to, for them to, to just see the world through those different eyes that, that understood that, that things range from, from higher than you can imagine and lower than you can imagine. You, you just happen to fall somewhere in between. And, uh, and the more we travel, the more we we fill in the blanks of, of what life looks like on, on both sides of that. Yeah. It's hard to say what my favorite place is. Why? Because I, we've been to so many places and all the places are super cool. So for me, I think I had, I had the benefit of a moment of clarity at, at 30 years old, 31 years old or so, when my dad was ill and, and passed away at age 60. And when you see that happen, um, you realize that retirement's not guaranteed, right? Work, work till you're 60 and retire, or 62 or 65, whatever number you pick. Um, it's not guaranteed, the end of it. So we looked at, you know, what can I make sure that I'm getting out of every day? And so how much time can I spend with the kids? How can I not back, you know, backload this stuff in, in hopes that it's there someday, but take advantage of it right now? And, uh, you know, I asked some of my friends, you know, and, and every single one of them said, if I could go back in time and do what you're doing, I would do it. None of them said, my career is more important. I wouldn't. I could give up the money, or I couldn't give up the money. Or everybody said, if I could go back in time and have all those days with my kids, I would do it. And so for me, that was you know the number one thing. Yeah. We're certainly not unique in wanting to live the dream. Sometimes you got to jump off a little bit of a cliff or a big cliff to trust that that there's enough of, enough of a safety net somewhere down there. And uh, yeah, you need a big enough why that drives you. And right. So if you if you get to spend time with the kids and you know make sure that you're you're a family. I want to stay like this forever. I want to stay right here with you. I want to stay right here with you. You know, every day for us is, is an adventure, and but we don't fight about it. We, we solve it. You know, we find a way to solve it, and, and we share that with them, that, that this is how we get through things. And, and I, I would hope that they would understand that they have that in their own hands. You know, find the right person in life. You know, friends, it doesn't have to be a marriage even, just the friends, the people that you want to do things with, that if you, if you team up with the right group, you're, you're off to whatever you want to do. Hey, don't go too far, yeah, look at the tree right there. Oh.
For me, I think probably the top of the whole list, I would want Morgan and Derek, you know, one coming from a female perspective and a male perspective, to understand that a happy, healthy marriage and a happy family can do anything, right? Like, like find the right person and your life can, can be amazing. And I know at five years old, you don't understand that, but you do understand that your parents are there every moment. Like your parents care about everything you're doing and they want to make your life a real life. One of the things I think we should do today though is really map out our journey north. Mm -hmm. So why don't I grab the map and we can take a look at the cool things that are between here and there. Yep. Yeah. I definitely want to see the big sequoia trees. We have a week here with Clementine sure, and want. Peter. Mm -hmm. You spend, yep. you know, it always feels like a lot of time, but that it never is. Wow, that really is out in the middle of nowhere. I want to see the redwoods too. That yeah. would be great. Yeah, that's why we well, cut across. Yep. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have no idea where yeah. the future takes us. In no part. idea what's over the next rise. The that's next it. <laughs> In part because you have no idea what you're going to see or who you're going to meet because that really does change your trajectory, right? Totally. Yeah, we, we met people when we were in Mexico who lived in Canada. We had no idea we were going to go to Canada because our plan was to head to Argentina and do this other epic journey south. Which we and, still do. Which we probably will, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> in two years, five years? I don't know. We can't tell because you just keep meeting all these awesome people that take you on different paths. To know what the next three years or ten years has to hold, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not on the radar. But it's going to be epic, it's going to be an adventure, like it's going to be amazing. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> that is so That is so, so well done, your baby. Oh, 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 that's so cool. Oh, man. You're a, you're a moment to relive, huh? You're a magician, man. I'll show you guys something. We're like, come on! Oh, thank you so much. That's so cool. All right, so I think it was a success. Everybody loved it. We got tears We got tears flowing over here, and that's what it's all about. That's why we make videos. It's because at the end of the day, it makes people feel something. Relive a moment and uh, capture a little moment in time, so. Good stuff. Thank Good stuff. Thank you. Aww. You guys are so cool. We love you guys. <laughs> All right, I got one more quick one to show you. <laughs> There's a little love that we wanted to show to our friends, Marcy and Doug, and also Morgan and Derek. Uh, recently, when we were in Ahmed, we taught about 10 classes to adults and children about how to make videos and editing and all that stuff and it takes a long time. Just a little highlight that we made took 11 hours. This whole video probably took about 17 hours to make. So the big takeaway for today on this video is love what you do. Because if you don't, you're doing a disservice to yourself and you're not sharing your skill set and your love and your passion with everybody else. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, go to social media, like us on Facebook, Instagram, all the cool stuff, and definitely get out there and try something new. We love you guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.